Table tennis is a very complex sport with lots of different shots, spins, and playing styles played at a frighteningly fast pace. A lot to learn and master. It does take time to get really good at table tennis. But can you imagine playing this sport with no arms? Well, there's one person that actually can, and he's pretty good. This is Ibrahim Hamidpu, the Paralympian who plays table tennis with his mouth. Ibrahim lost both arms in a train accident when he was 10 years old. He recalls his accident. I was standing at the door of the train. I fell in the gap between the train and the pavement. When I woke up from the coma, I found that both my arms were amputated. He was introduced to the world as one of the most inspiring athletes from the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. Amid too has put together a stunning career despite losing his arms in a train accident while just a child, meaning he controls the bat with his mouth and sets up serves with his foot. The star made his Paralympics debut in Rio at the age of 43, and now 48, he continues to compete with the best athletes of his class. Speaking to CNN in 2014, Amid too explained how football was the only other game he could play following his accident. Table tennis has been a Paralympic sport since the inception of Paralympic Games in Rome in 1960. However, for the first time during the 2000 Paralympic Games in Sydney, Australia, athletes with a disability were included. The serve is an important element of Olympic table tennis. When serving, you have to throw the ball up behind the white end line of the table. You also have to make contact behind the line. You can't lean forward and hit the ball close to the net. And here is where Ibrahim starts to amaze people. He begins by flicking the ball up with his foot at approximately six inches up into the air. He then hits the ball with an incredible precision holding the racket in his mouth. With a snap of his neck, hip, and shoulders, driving into each shot with exaggerated leg movements, he learned to hit the ball extraordinarily well. He wears only one shoe when he plays because he needs one bare foot to hold the ball with. A style Hamidou admitted took him months to get used to. He says, It took me nearly a year of practice to get used to holding the racket with my mouth and making the serve. With practice and playing regularly, this skill was improved. His nickname of Mr. Impossible would be too sweet for most athletes. For Hamidou, it seems fitting enough. Tokyo Paralympics is his farewell to competition. Viewers watching the Paralympics have admitted to being wowed by the performances of inspiring athletes on the opening day of the Tokyo Games. Paralympics is a great way to see people with disabilities differently. You're not looking at the disability, you are looking at athletes.